Jones, it's Nurse Esther again. I'm just gonna wash my hands for 20 seconds. How are you doing today? Good, that's good. It's gonna be a great day because the doctor ordered that Holy catheter to be discontinued. So that's what I'll be doing for you today, all right? So I'm gonna ask you to count to three. You're gonna, um, and what, I'm gonna have, see to hold your breath. And then when I say three, you're gonna uh, release, ex exhale, and I'm gonna pull out the catheter, all right? It should be quick, and it should be uh, a little bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be too painful, okay? But if you feel any pain, let me know, all right? All right, great. I'm gonna check your wristband here. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Carly Jones, June 11, 1992. Great, uh, everything matches. Do you have any allergies? No allergies? All right. Are you in any pain or discomfort right now? No? All right, great. I'm gonna wash my hands here. I'm gonna provide privacy with the curtain. And Miss Jones is already in the supine position, so we're all good to go. So wash my hands again. Put on gloves. And uh, Miss Jones, before we begin, I'm gonna uh, rotate your legs, uh, your knees into the um, frog position, just like we did when we entered the catheter, all right? Great. So I'm going to lower your blanket here. Can I rotate your thighs? All right, thank you. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this chucks between your legs. It's kind of like a protective sheet that's gonna protect you from any urine spilling out. Okay, great. Just so that it's out of the way, I'm just gonna lift your gown just a little bit. Okay. And I'm also gonna put a chucks on the table All right, we're all ready to begin. I'm gonna take off my gloves, perform hand hygiene, new gloves. Okay, I'm gonna first get started by deflating that balloon that's keeping that catheter in place, all right? Great. Got my syringe here. I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna do this twice just to make sure I get all the water out. All right, that was 10 cc right there. And pour it out. I'm gonna try one more time. All right, I've gotten it all out. Let's close that there. All right, Miss Jones, we're all basically ready. I'm going to pinch the catheter as I pull it out. I want, uh, I'm gonna count to three. And when I say three, I want you to exhale, all right? Take a deep breath. One, two, three. All right, awesome. You did great, Miss Jones. How do you feel? No pain? Great. Just gonna remove the stat lock. Just gonna make sure you're all covered up. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unclip the fully from the bag and the bed. And I'm going to take this to the bathroom, measure it in, this, uh, in the cylinder in a graduated cylinder, and then I'm going to dispose of everything properly, all right? All right, in the meantime, can I um, fix your legs back into its original position? Do you're more comfortable? Yeah? Awesome. There you go, we'll cover it up. All right, I'm gonna measure the urine, dispose of everything properly, and I'll be right back, okay? Awesome. All right, Miss Jones, I'm back. Um, everything looks good. Your, um, I saw that there are 300 cc of clear yellow urine in the Foley bag, so I'll go ahead and document that. Are you feeling any pain? No pain? Okay. So when I was removing the catheter, if I needed to, um, even after removing all the water, if I still feel resistance while removing the catheter, I would stop immediately and call the doctor. All right, Ms. Jones, you're all done here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna document the date and the time and that you tolerate the, the procedure well. I'm also going to document the description and the amount of the urine in the bag, which was 300 cc's of urine, and it was yellow and clear. I'm also going to document the amount of urine for the next two times that you void. So, the next two times that you void, before you flush, call me, because I will have to measure it and document it, all right? So, uh, another thing is, if there's any blood in the urine, or if you're having really excruciating pain while urinating, or you can't urinate at all, please use your call bell and let me know, okay? All right, and lastly, uh, once again, um, when the first time you void after this, because there was a catheter in your urethra, you might feel a stinging or burning sensation while you 
while you urinate, which is normal. The next couple times that you void that pain, that stinging sensation and burning sensation will decrease. All right. Okay. And once again, don't flush um, when before you um, void those two times so I can measure it. All right. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. All right. I'm just gonna clear this for you, and I'll be out of your way. All right. All right.